Robert's Rebellion, also known as the War of the Usurper, was one of the last great civil wars among the great houses of Westeros. It leads to overthrow Targaryen dynasty by the Baratheon. It took approximately 17 years before the War of the Five Kings begins, and lasted about one year. It was sparked by the execution of Rickard and Brandon Stark, by the Mad King. A grand tourney was held by Lord Walter Went, at Harrenhal. Many nobles from all over the Seven Kingdoms came to the Riverlands. Amongst them were, the heir to Winterfell, Brandon Stark, and his younger siblings, Eddard, Lyanna and Benjen Stark. The tourney was cause for great celebration, as spring had come to Westeros. In addition, all of the Kingsguard had gathered to welcome their newest member, Sir Jaime Lannister. After winning the final tilt, Rhaegar Targaryen was to crown the new Queen of Love and Beauty. Instead of crowning his wife, Aelia Martell, Rhaegar crowned Lyanna Stark of Winterfell. Lyanna Stark was abducted by Prince Rhaegar Targaryen, near Harrenhal. Her brother, Brandon Stark was on his way to Riverrun to wed Catelyn Tully. When the news reached him, Brandon rode for the Red Keep, and outside its gates, unaware that Rhaegar was not present, shouted for him to come out and die. Brandon Stark demanded justice from Mad King in person. Ares Targaryen had him arrested for treason, and then offered to ransom to his father Rickard Stark. Lord Rickard Stark, who had been on his way south with the wedding party for Brandon's wedding, went to King's Landing with 200 men. Ares summoned Rickard to court, and when arrived, publicly and very brutally executed both father and son. The brutal murder of Brandon and Rickard, engendered much sympathy for the rebels, and many houses joined their cause. Ares demanded John Arryn, to send him the heads of Lord Robert Baratheon and Eddard Stark. However, John instead raised his banners in revolt. Fighting began in the Vale of Arryn. Though John Arryn called for his bannermen, not all of his bannermen sided with him. There were those who sided with the king, chief among them, Mark Grafton. Gulltown's defenses eventually fell after an unknown amount of time, with Robert slaying Mark Grafton. Robert sailed to Storm's End to call his own banners as well. Just as not all bannermans in the Vale had sided with John Arryn, not all the lords in the Stormlands sided with Robert Baratheon. The first major battle in the Stormlands took place at Summer Hall. They were three battles, all fought on one day. Lord Grandison, Catherine and Fell had gathered their hosts, and planned to join forces at Summer Hall. From there, they would march on Storm's End. Robert learned of their plans, and rode with his knights and squires to Summer Hall, where he attacked each host in turn. Robert killed Lord Fell in battle. Following his victory at Summer Hall, Robert Baratheon was now free to march north, to join up with John Arryn and Eddard Stark. House Stark, House Arryn and House Baratheon, all called their banners and began assembling armies. John and Eddard entered negotiations with Lord Hoster Tully. Lord Tully's daughter Catelyn had been betrothed to marry Brandon. After some discussions, Eddard Stark married Catelyn in his brother's place, whilst John married her sister Lysa. House Tully then joined the war on the rebels' side, ordering a full call to arms. All the Tully bannermen answered the call, with the exception of House Darry who declared for Ares. King Ares summoned his banners. The houses sworn directly to House Targaryen responded, as did the force of House Tyrell, which commanded the most populous region and hence the largest army. First refusing to send aid to Ares, both due to his caution as well as due to his anger over Aelia's treatment, Prince Doran Martell agreed to send 10,000 Dornishmen. Tywin Lannister refused to answer Ares, although he also seemed unmoved by requests from the rebels, to join him as well. House Greyjoy chose not to get involved in the affairs of the mainlanders. The rebels realized that they need an undisputed leader to command their forces, and replace Ares Targaryen. So they chose Robert Baratheon. The Battle of the Trident was the decisive battle, located on the northern bank of the Trident. The Loyalists had 40,000 men, while the army of the rebels numbered fewer men. Rhaegar Targaryen and Robert Baratheon met in single combat, with the battle raging on all around them. Rhaegar managed to wound Robert, before Robert killed Rhaegar with a blow to the chest from his warhammer. Eventually, the Targaryen host broke and ran. 
Around the time, the Battle of the Trident was fought, Robert proclaimed his intention to claim the Iron Throne. Out of all three leaders of the rebellion, Robert had the better claim. Because Robert had taken a wound from Rhaegar during battle, he gave the pursuit of the remnants of the Targaryen army to Eddard Stark. Eddard followed the remnants of the army back to King's Landing, where the Red Keep was being held by several thousands loyalists. Lord Tywin Lannister who had refused calls from both the loyalists and the rebels until that point, appeared at the gates of King's Landing, with an army of 12,000 men. Ares made the mistake of trusting Grand Maestar Pycelle, and opened the gates to Tywin's men. The moment the Lannister host had entered, they sacked King's Landing. Seeing that he was doomed, Ares decided to ignite several caches of wildfire, placed throughout the city and burn King's Landing to the ground, but was killed by Sir Jaime Lannister. During the sacking, Aelia Martell was raped and murdered by Gregor Clegane, on the orders of Tywin Lannister. Both of her children were also killed. Robert laid claim to the Iron Throne because, he had been the first to take up arms and had killed Prince Rhaegar personally. Robert was the only rebel leader, to have a blood link to the Targaryens. Robert was devastated by Lyanna's death, but married Cersei Lannister, as a show of gratitude to her father, delivering the capital of King's Landing. Tywin remained the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands, Robert named John Arryn as his hand, while Eddard took his father's role as Warden of the North.